Uh, uh, uh. Welcome, welcome, Hola. welcome to the Roscoe's Tavern viewing party of Canada's Drag Race, Canada versus the world. The world. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, YouTube. Hi, hello, everyone hello. in the audience. Thank y'all for joining us once Hi, again. Hi, ladies. How are you? We're feeling good. good. How are you? I'm good. Let's have a seat. Back for another week of shenanigans. Yes. Happy Friday. We're, we're almost done. Two more episodes. Two more. This one and one more. And Dos más. And it's a wrap on Canada versus the world. But guess oh. what? We have some fierce guests There's today. Some, yes, we do. I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the very gorgeous and statuesque, the beauty, the talent, Miss Raja O'Hara. Hey. Yeah. How y'all doing? <laughs> How y'all doing? Homegirl's back. What up, Roscoe? Yeah. <laughs> you look taller since the last time we've seen you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been eating my vitamins. <laughs> Come through. <laughs> also joining us for the very first time, all the way from a UK season three and this current season of Canada versus the World, please give it up for Vanity Milan. I got my Ooh, business see? outfit on because I mean yeah. business tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Roscoe's make some noise. <laughs> noise. You already wait. That's you. You that, already know. <laughs> well, How we're we super, doing? super excited to have you, ladies. How are you guys doing? Good. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, it's, it's it's really cold though. Yes. Do, do okay. You, I mean, but back home, it's it gets pretty cold. Yes, or not this cold. This cold. <laughs> <laughs> but we're used to like rain and then like a little bit of snow and then more rain, which is kind of like yeah. okay. It's cold out here in this bitch. Yeah, and, and for those of you that don't know at home, YouTube, it's snowing here in Chicago, and it's super, super cold. Um, and since we're talking to YouTube, if you have not pushed that subscribe button, go ahead and push subscribe, okay. and subscribe uh, to our gig so you can see it every single week. Also, don't forget, we have our Roscoe's merch. And where can they get our merch? At Roscoe'sTavern.com, as well as Drag Queen merch. So make sure you guys are getting our merch. And of a little link. Where's that link? It's at? Right, here. right up there, right over hey, there, right hey above girl. Caramel. Right there. Click on that link. You can get yourself uh, some. <laughs> over there, over there. It's over there. <laughs> the first time we did it, we were like, "Where is that?" It yeah. was. And it Cheddar was, looked up. Just was put like, it where I point. <laughs> right there. It was hilarious. Um, okay, so um, obviously you guys are watching. Your, do you guys like watching yourselves on, or do you get like anxiety watching yourselves on the screen and stuff? Well, watching here at Roscoe's, yeah, I get very much so anxiety. Okay. <laughs> no, but I really enjoy watching Drag Race, period. And the fact that I'm on it, it's kind of like, ooh, who was that bitch? Okay. <laughs> How about you, Vanity? Yeah, like Raja, I enjoy watching myself on television. Vanity's the name. <laughs> right up. Yeah. Vanity by name, vanity by nature. So um, definitely love watching myself. But I only watched the first episode of Canada vs. the World. What? So you've only seen the first episode. That's it. Me winning, period. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I love it. I love it. Okay, well, uh, we won't. I'll have to uh, rewind for, next, for last week. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, before we jump into it. <laughs> yes. So do it, bitch. No, no, <laughs> we, last week. We might as well start. Yeah, y'all are part of a legacy of another double save. I mean, yes, given the circumstances, it seemed very justified. We are so glad you're both there. But in that moment, did y'all think one of us was leaving? Bitch. <laughs> Did you not see the tear roll down my eye? I said, oh my God. Ooh. I don't think I breathed the whole time we was on stage. I was like, okay, we know ISIS left, but are they going to send somebody home? Are they going to send somebody home? Are they going to send somebody home? Do you it not remember like, the bitch. amount of bitches I said to you when I was with? I was like, bitch, bitch. Okay. Bitch. Bitch. We bitch was over there the like, like statues. Like, please just say we can go step to the back. Please tell us to step to the back. Okay. Yeah, we definitely felt that as well here. We were like, oh my God, we had sat and maybe talked for like 10 minutes about what was gonna happen. Um, but we're so glad that both of you are still here and we can't wait to watch tonight's episode. I am too. So let's just yeah. jump right into it, shall we? Have oh, y'all no, been we're enjoying the show? Oh, we're not ready. Oh, it hasn't come up oh. yet. Oh, okay. oh, 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 that's right. Come on, world they, of Wanda. Well, you know what? They literally <laughs> release it at 8 p.m. Yeah. and it's like 8 p.m. right now, so they haven't released it yet, right? So that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, that's okay. We can we can talk. Oh, oh it's good. You're good. Oh, we're good. Oh, they released it. Okay, oh, gorgeous. Oh, Ooh. they released it. Okay, um, <laughs> Roscoe's. Are y'all ready? <laughs> yeah. Gorgeous. Let's jump right into it. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> 
I don't know who that was, but I'm here for it. I started it. with you. I was like, yeah. I'm so here for it. Work. Okay. So many questions really quick. Um, so we're, we're, we're watching uh, you guys start an acting challenge. Before we get into the acting challenge, let's touch on a couple things from like last week and what we just saw in the beginning. Um, uh, Vanity, let's start with you. And how did you feel having both of them have pulled your lipstick? I'm going to be completely honest with you. I knew that they were going to pick my lipstick. Comedy is not... I'm, I've never claimed to be a comedy queen. I've never claimed to be funny. Um, and I knew it was time for me to either get up and go or get kicked out. So um, it wasn't a surprise to me. I'm not delusional. <laughs> well, I'm not delusional at all. Well, speaking of delusional, because I, 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 there is something that I think you're a little bit delusional about. And um, I, 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 I'm going to tell oh, you about it right Roscoe's now. Welcome to Roscoe's Beach. So, so during... <laughs> so welcome to Roscoe's Beach. <laughs> welcome. We love you here. No, uh, uh, okay, no. Um, so I just... Speaking of that, I, I want to I wanna make sure that you... I want to see where you stand now at this point. Um, because I, I hear you talk about a lot of role models, uh, people of color that you don't get to see on the screen and you want... Uh, and, and, you not having that, right? Um, and I want you to know, and I want to know if you understand that you are that person for those people of color, those drag queens in the UK that don't have that person. You are now that person. Has that sunken in yet? I kid you not, I said this to my husband before we came here. I said, I am an icon. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Okay. I was the only black queen on my season of Drag Race, and I'm carrying the torch for anyone who comes up from Drag Race past seasons, oh, sorry, present seasons that are coming up now. So yeah, I mean, I open doors. I kick down those doors for people to be able to say, look, there are people on television who I can now look up to. And yeah, there are people that we can look up to, especially when it comes to the UK, and we look at Beyonce and you know, all the black R&B artists that we can look up to, but in the UK there's nobody. And I wanted to make sure that my platform was something that I could give to another young black queer person in the UK. And I think I realized that today. Amazing, make, make some noise for Vanity. We're we, we realize it every time that we see you on the screen. It's from the first episode that you walked in, the glow up was oh so God. obvious and ridiculous. You look absolutely stunning. Congratulations and we commend you because yes, you. you are an icon. Yes, um, let's make some noise for Vanity. Yes. Um, and then I want to talk to you about a comment that you made last week. And I want you to elab elaborate on it a little bit because I feel like uh, you did speak on it but I, I, I want you to elaborate on it for those that need to hear it. Um, and you said to Isis, you don't owe anyone anything. And there's some people that don't understand that. Um, and they're like, well, what do you mean? Girl? You're on a TV show, you're this and that. But there is a reality that us entertainers, anyone in entertainment, don't owe you shit. And I want you to elaborate on that and what you were feeling when you did express that to Isis. Well, I figured since Isis was in that headspace, I know what that headspace can do because I was there when I left um, season 11. I was really down on myself. So I know in situations where you feel like you're letting, either some, you're letting somebody down, you're disappointing somebody because there are people that are gonna be watching and gonna be rooting for her. But the most important part about being an entertainer is taking care of yourself so you can do what you love and be able to entertain and be successful at what you do. Um, because otherwise, you will work yourself to death and you have nothing to rely on and no energy to give yourself or nothing to hype yourself back up. And when we go back, when we leave the workspace on Drag Race, we go to a hotel room by ourselves. So. I know what that can do to your mental. So for her leaving the competition, something that she was very passionate about, something that she's sickening at too, by the way. Like, give it up for Isis, because that bitch is sickening. Okay. Uh, I really hated to see her go, but I was also happy to see her go as well, <laughs> because she was strong competition. Hello. I won't lie, she was strong competition, um, and she's sickening, so 
I wish her all the best in her journey. Yeah. And um, we, w did you want to say something? About I just that? wanted to say that, that, you know, to the fandom, mental health is real. It doesn't matter if you're on a TV show, whether you're not on a TV show, mental health is real. And I think people just need to make sure that they continue to check on the people that's around them. Make sure that you check in on the people that you, you know, you feel that like need that help because it's very important. And I'll just say one name, Cherry Valentine. Please make sure that you check on your friends, the people that are closest to you, your family members, because mental health, I'll say it again, is real. And it's a TV show that we filmed ages ago, but these feelings do come back up. Do you know what I mean? Oh, totally. It, it lingers. Um, you know, and, and this goes to everyone on YouTube as well. You know, your, your words, they, they weigh heavy on entertainers. Um, watch what you say, when you say it, and how you say it. Um, because they're artists, but they are human too. They are people. Um, exactly. And they don't deserve uh, the, the negativity and, and, and the hassling. Because this is just a fucking TV show, guys. It's a TV show made to entertain you all. Not for you to go after any of these queens and hassle and attack anyone because she beat out your favorite queen. No, go fuck yourself with that bullshit. And also, we're still <laughs> friends at the end of the day. We're still Hello, family yes. sisters. Like, we filmed this show ages ago. Like, you don't have right. to be like, oh my God, my favorite queen is... The Look, me and Raja are sitting here next to each other. Yeah. Like, there has never been bad blood. Right. Like, we can sit here and discuss each other and we'll shade each other all the time. Episode. Period. <laughs> Okay, no, well, 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 si <laughs> well, since we did bring the word favorite uh, and favoritism, since we brought that up, let's, let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, did you guys at all feel that there was any favoritism? From We discussed this with Isis last week. Oh, um, did you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do not act like you did not watch did our you? program, miss. Did oh. you guys feel like there was any favoritism to any of the contestants or anything like that? With, well, like, what production? did Isis have to say about the... Mikey? <laughs> well, she... Okay, can we rewind we, the tape? We, can, we have a playback. <laughs> we, we had it ready for you, actually. Can you throw that playback on? <laughs> okay. No, um, No, she did. She said she felt that there was, um, and it really, you know, it really fucked with her. Um, and so... Yeah, she, she felt like there was, there was. However, everyone's experience is, you know, different. You know what I mean? Like, some of us might see something that we don't see or, or vice versa, right? Um, so did you guys see anything or feel anything, like, where there was any favoritism towards anyone? You can go first. There. <laughs> I don't want to say that they were playing favoritism, but there was a little bit of some favoritism like a push happening like... in the room. Um, one time I actually had to speak out about it. So it was kind of like, it made me feel really uncomfortable. Um, because you know how it is on set. Um, I can't get into all of the details, but there are, there was a little bit of favoritism happening. But I wouldn't say that it was favoritism for anybody on this stage. No, no, and, and, no, she, and, and they, Isis said that. She, said that she it actually was said that. Yeah, it she was, said it was definitely for Canada. She, yeah. For them trying to keep the title in Canada and whatnot. But right, what right, did right. you feel like when that was happening with you? Because at this point, both of you have been on the show before. So this is your second time. This is your third time. You know how everything works. But what is like? what were you feeling when you were like, bitch, I'm giving the same fucking energy as these hoes. Why? Like, why? What is that? Like, what did that make you feel like? See, I understood it was a TV show. And I was here for me and me only. My redemption from season three into Canada versus the world was what's more important to me. And showing the world that I had something to prove. I am not that shy ditto person that you saw on season three and I did you know we see favoritism and I have to push past that because again I'm here for myself I'm here for the crown and I'm here for that 100,000 K okay because <laughs> you know for we don't get that in the yeah, UK by the BBC bad, so baby. I was like mm -hmm, let me get that money because it's that's on that's tea did but you I get, get your money though did you cash that check bitch I'm going to Mexico tomorrow. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. She literally was like, yeah, I'm leaving at 6 o'clock in the morning to go to Mexico. I was like, work, bitch. Period. Okay. <laughs> Cut right. the chick. Yes. <laughs> okay. How about yeah, you, Raja? Again, again, it was just, it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here for me, and I'm, I'm not trying to look at what they're doing with other people or saying to other people. I was here for me. And whether I got eliminated first or I, got, or I win, I'm still here for me to show the world that I'm not the queen that you thought I was from season three of UK. 
And that's why I think people will continue to love you is because you took it, you ran with it, you came back a better person, you understand, and you're just here to share what you were gifted with. And Period. we love you for that. Thank you so yeah. much. And you know what you did, Vanity? What did I do, baby? You stepped your pussy up because them runways have been killing. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> okay. Yes, they let, have. let me ask you this. Which, which season... Did you, you have three under your belt, you have two under your belt. Which one did you enjoy the most? This one. This one? <laughs> this one. For sure. This, this one. one. Okay. This one for sure. This one really felt like love. It felt like, yeah. it felt like sisterhood. It felt like family coming into, like, you know, we call Drag Race Summer Camp. Right. It really felt like Summer Camp going to Canada because the people were so nice. They were like so. They were very accommodating to us. They set us up really, really well. They treated us really, really nice. Drag the U.S. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> they treated us nice on and off the set. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> That's why the reading challenge was so shit. Because we loved each other so much. <laughs> Girl, that reading challenge. Oh, my God. I'm surprised they I'm sorry, y'all. That was a mess. <laughs> That bombed like ass, <laughs> for real. Your confessionals make up for it because I could watch, bitch, I could watch your ass do those confessionals all fucking day. You're so good at them. Um, speaking of that, should we go back to the show and watch yeah, the let's, bar? Yeah, let's, let's jump back there. What's in this drink? <laughs> all right. right. First of that, all, that was a little confusing, though. Which, like, which <laughs> camera did she want me to look at? The one at the left or the one at the right? <laughs> Mm, right, because so, so that was our acting challenge there. Um, it's, it looked really fun from our perspective, but what was the most challenging part for both of us, honestly? <laughs> Memorizing the words. Or Learning the words. Yeah. <laughs> I will actually say, like, with my part that I was just doing, like, the way the script is written, it's a little bit of a tongue tie. So I think it's kind of like meant to kind of choke you up just a little bit, you know. So, and you know me, I'm a girl that loves to talk fast anyway. So it's like me trying to spit it all out and just come out, have it come out, you know. <laughs> and Vanity, how about for you, Diva? <laughs> Listen, I'm hard, I'm, 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 I'm hard of hearing. So when someone says find the camera, I'm like, which one? The Drag Race camera or the... Uh, camera that I'm supposed to be looking at. Okay. So it was quite difficult. When y'all are doing something like that, how many cameras are there on set? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're filming a television show, there are several cameras in the room. <laughs> so it's kind of like a couple of them. No shade. I think I was just getting in my head, to be fair. Like, the words yeah. were there. The words were there. It was just, you, you could see someone going, mm-hmm, and then you're like, shit, they're talking about me. Well, so what am I supposed to do now? And then I get in my head way too much. And again, the acting challenge from my season creeped up and said, bitch, you ain't shit, okay. but hoes and tricks. So okay. I literally just said, oh, fuck it. Let's just give them what, what it is that they want. So I gave them the in between. The acting challenges are really tricky too because you can't really see yourself. So you have to go based off of what somebody else is telling you that you're doing. So it's like, give me more, give me a little bit more, and then you take it too far. And then they say, okay, bring it back down, bring it back home. Was Tracy helpful or constructive anyway? She was. She, she was. was. She was. <laughs> so Y'all said no. They were like, we didn't see that. Which one of you said no? I thought it was your husband. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> right, I did too. I was like, whoop. Did my husband No, it wasn't him. Okay, it wasn't. thank God. We, uh, NDA. <laughs> <laughs> She's in America. She's scared shitless. <laughs> I want to be on All Stars UK season two. Oh, <laughs> season one. <laughs> Call me back. I pop out like Shangela, period. <laughs> but Raja, a question for you. We've been wondering, how was the dynamic working, I guess, with Brooklyn, one of your season 11 sisters now, the dynamic of her having to judge you and you, yeah, being a contestant in her show? I was okay with it. It took me a while to, uh, like, prior to me actually saying yes to compete, I had to wrestle with that idea in my head and say, girl, what's this gonna give? Okay. Mm, I don't know. But then I had thought about it kind of like pageantry. There's always formers that are on the judges panel. There are always people that have already been in this position that you're in at the table judging you. And I feel like because Brooklyn knows what it's like being a contestant, 
She knows what it's like getting prepared for this competition. She knows what it's like losing this competition. So she's able to put herself in our position and to judge fairly based on that. So I know that she's qualified to judge. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go have a good time. And then, you know what? Just be sickening. So she ain't got nothing bad to say. And I mean, if you put it like that, I almost, I don't know what you guys think, but I almost prefer it than to have to, you know, have some mediocre fashion queen sitting there who, you know, her resume is like getting straight guys in fashion. And now she's talking about you drag better, queens. You better read you get, Carson. But you get what? <laughs> Ooh, not Carson. Ooh. Not Carson. No, that was, that was Matthew. Oh. But no, 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 having your sister who knows what you've been through. <laughs> we love but Carson. you know, it's just, kind of, it's just kind of funny how you have someone in this late-ass mediocre blazer telling you about your fashion. You're kind of like, really, girl? How, how is someone like that going to come for Raja, who's made everything from head to motherfucking toe and you're going to try and come for me that don't make no sense to me but now we, yeah we you know we what i mean th- yeah we see that every week though like you know either we should have you know someone from another franchise being a part of another franchise as a judge because you've been through it so you know the kind of the hoops and the you know what you've been through how how to kind of give constructive constructive criticism where they can actually apply it and it just doesn't go in one ear and out the other So, and I will also say that I was really surprised, not surprised, um, but I was really glad to see that Brooklyn wasn't really playing favoritism when it came down to judging because a lot of times, you know, if the, you know, our mama don't care. If she got a favorite, she's gonna let you know that that's her favorite and she's gonna be. (laughs) Especially when they win. Losing it. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, she gonna lose it. You know, she's playing all the favoritism out the door. It's like, oh, that's her favorite. We see okay. it. Okay, we got you, girl. But Brooklyn, she like played it very cool. And if she gave it up for one, she had to give it up for all of us. For sure. I love that. Yeah. Speaking of all of us, we will all be performing at about 10.30 p.m. or so. So make sure you guys stick around for performances. It's gonna be quite the show. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So do not go anywhere. But on that note, let's go ahead and go right back to this acting challenge, yeah? No, let's talk. I like talking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Love that. That was great. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, y'all both look gorgeous. Nice. I live. Thank you, girl. Besides you. each other's looks, who was your favorite on the runway? Vanity's like, um, nobody's. You know what? I will say Victoria. Okay. Um, oh, can you tell everyone what you told me while we were while it was playing about Victoria? And- oh, Victoria broke that stage twice. <laughs> uh-uh. Twice. And you know, we film it twice, right? So it was four times for her. It was like... <laughs> she didn't learn the first time. Cat, 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 cat. Boom. It's like, dang. Somebody bring in some more light bulbs. She done broke everything up in here. <laughs> Vanity. No, but I loved Victoria's actual runway. Um, I hope that they actually show it like when we're standing for critiques. It has so yeah. many details. Yeah. Like yeah. the, like she was like a spider. She was a bug, but it was made out of like a keyboard, like a, like a, what? The keys, the keys yeah. on a keyboard. A Casio keyboard. Yeah, dude. yeah. It was like, like a typewriter all over everything. It was everything. Millennium bug that she was, that's mm-hmm. what she was going for. And it was like really cool. I saw her pull it out and I was like, this bitch. <laughs> I felt like, see, you can't see the details of that, like you on can't. the runway when like at home. So that's why when you guys are here, we really like to like hear what, what and it was. And, and, and hers look. was L- it glowed in the dark. It was LED. Yeah. It was everything. Mm-hmm. What, was there one that um, maybe didn't look as good um, in person and on the runway? Could you not <laughs> ask you? it so like that? I mean, so like, what did well, you because like I know the it? answer, but I just want to. <laughs> well, I just want to know like what happened with with Silky's. Like, I, I I just felt like she was kind of like carrying the lips. Uh, was she carrying it or was it attached? I think it may have been attached. Okay. Yeah, and she was just putting her hand like through the mouth mm-hmm. of the. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't but know. I, 
maybe I just didn't get it. What yeah. was the association with the Y2? Like, what? how did that go with the theme? Like, what I mean, was she it? said Club Kid, which I guess I understand, like, but I don't know. I felt like it was more of, like, Miley Cyrus trying to do... Like, well, did, when you think about that look that Miley Cyrus did, it was inspired by Club Kids okay. of the early 2000s. Okay. So Silky took Got the it. actual reference of that one. Not the Miley Not reference. Not the Miley reference, but the actual... The, the actual designer reference. So I think that's what Silky B-Kala was doing. Bicala is his name, I think. The guy who designed I think that. so, yeah. Yeah, I think it's mm-hmm, Bicala. He's yeah. from New York. Yeah, I was in a show with him years ago. Come on, Bicala. Period. Yeah, period. Bicala did um, all of Kylie's wardrobe yeah, for yeah, All yeah, Stars. Yeah. I have a sickening pair of What do we think about Rita, R- Rita bag? Yeah, I know you uh, wanted to get right to that, didn't you? She said, <laughs> okay, so she said she's nev- that's never been done before, but I feel like we've seen balls and sponges yeah. just glued on before. Well, it well, depends what you're saying. I, it's never been done before. What? It had a bad runway. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, but when she came, when she came out the box, kidding. it lost some of I its I mean, um, seriously, yeah. come on. Like, listen, <laughs> listen, if you're going to be creative, liter- and this sounds so stupid, but outside the box, <laughs> but you literally just came in a box. Like, that's okay. not really like, I'm the first one to come out in a box. Well, guess what? That box was not really it. Like, What I was thinking well, she needed was a fan in there to make those balls blow up, maybe. Now, that, that would have been now the that's some now shit right like, there. Okay, there we go. you brought it to the there first the world. There we go. But but that would have been a way to elevate it for me. But right, I was like, it, it was, just it didn't give. Totally. It didn't give for me either. It didn't give <laughs> in person. It didn't give watching it didn't give for me but what like it was supposed to give it didn't give what it was supposed to give okay <laughs> it had gave me chuck e cheese <laughs> no it did yeah yeah the chuck e cheese ball like pit a toy like a okay. ball pit like but toys hold on. the kid hold who on. got lost in the ball pit you know what back. i just yeah. thought about Bitch, we filmed this during COVID times, and this bitch is drooling all over the stage oh my god she was <laughs> did you guys see the drool fall out her yes. mouth yes between Rita and Isis, they were trying to give us COVID. <laughs> Maybe that's where, Isis, that's where Isis really left. She's like, bitch, I got COVID. <laughs> no, just she said, take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> but speaking of giving, here at Roscoe's, we like to give shout outs to all of our viewers Ooh, who uh, comment you. on the videos. And yeah. um, we were feeling extra generous. Well, extra you know, it's, generous. Yes, it's, it's the holiday season. And. Um, uh, so we're our, feeling our, like some ho our, ho our special, hoes up up in there. One of, uh, one of uh, uh, I'll just say his name, Sean, um, who we all read all of them and we see all of them, but Sean goes and he'll go ahead and pick which ones we're going to, sh- you know, do the shout outs to. Um, but he was feeling the holiday spirit and said, we are going to shout out every single one that asked for a shout out. So if anyone needs to go to the bathroom, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. no, we're going to get into these shout outs right now um, really quick. Um, YouTube, again, continue to shout out, do all those things. Um, we're going to continue to send these out, but these are extra for the holiday. So let's start this off. Uh, shout out to Carlos from Chicago. Uh, he says, <laughs> who, <laughs> he just got home from work. So it's like. Who we know just got home from work. As soon as he gets home, he watches. He watches it. Yeah, he he gets home from work, and it's the first thing he does. He starts watching this. Um, So, Carlos, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. We also have um, a shout out to Christopher in SoCal, who is in bed with COVID. Um, We hope you feel better. Thanks for always watching, babe. We want to say hi to Samuel in Italy. We have Kenneth in Philly. Hi, Kenneth. Hello to Dario in Miami. Connor in the Netherlands. Mi amiguito Ferdinand in Puerto Rico. She loves when she can speak another language. I <laughs> so I'm pissed I didn't get that Italian one, bitch. No. <laughs> yeah, I fucked it up. I know, it's okay. Um, shout out to Timothy in Singapore. Hey. Hello to Matt and Ollie in London. Hi. We shout have London. Millie Deans in England. We're going to say hey to Iris in Orange County. Hi. <laughs> Hi to Sigel in Denmark. <laughs> Ezekiel in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Hola. Show we really lined Come this on, up for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> this next one. I am Jed in Tunisia. Hi, best friend. <laughs> Marco in <and> Portugal. <laughs> Work, bitch, I live. Not this bitch speaks Portuguese now. 
Give it up to <laughs> Joanne in Buffalo. Okay, my turn. We're going to say um, hello to Moises in Colombia. Yes, que rico. Uriah in Arkansas. <laughs> we have, oh, see, I don't even know how to say this one. Shahil. Uh, Shahil and Dudmisu yes. in South Africa. Wow. Come through. That's beautiful. Hey, Crystal in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we love you we love just you, this Crystal. much. Get the fuck out of there. But we love you just this much, girl. <laughs> Hello to Simon in London. We have, am I next? Yeah. We yeah. have Tyler in Alabama. Um, hello to Jendra in Indonesia. Don't forget about James in Tampa. <laughs> we have, this just gets funnier and funnier. We have Ridwan in Malaysia. We're also going to say hello to Morian. Mo whoop, nope, nope, nope. Moraine. Nope. Sure. Moraine in Italy. Hey. Sure. <laughs> Mar Star in Central Illinois. Yes. Yeehaw. We have Jesper in Germany. Um, hello to Juno in Spain. I think that's Juno, no? Juno? I think so. All right. <laughs> and Juno. <laughs> Listen, also, don't come for us if we get your name wrong. Yeah. Just be happy we mentioned you and we love you and thank you. <laughs> yeah. Hello to Lifus in, in Thailand. Yes. Sure. Uh, we have Batter in Morocco. Hello to Leo in Italy. Wow, long name. Dominic in Germany. We got Rico all the way in Albuquerque. <laughs> Almost done. Hello, Ronnie in Lebanon. Thanks for watching. Thank you to Julius and Mark in Poland. And that wraps it up. Thank you guys every single week for watching coming home from work or from wherever you at um, and sending us messages of love. Um, continue to send us uh, uh, shout outs because we'll, sh we'll shoot you out um, every single week. We'll shoot you I, out. I don't, know, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> we'll shoot you out. No, we're not doing that. Um, you know, no, 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 no. We will send you shout outs. Yeah. You know damn well what I meant, fuckers. Thank you for making us a part of your sa Saturday morning and on. Or Friday nights, whatever Friday nights. it is. Yeah, it's um, late. We love you, love you, love, yeah. love you. We love you very, very much. If you haven't pushed that subscribe button, go ahead and do so. And then let's get right back into the show, yeah? Yeah. Spy Queens. Okay, so we just saw Spy Queens. Wow. And the judges' critiques of the runways <laughs> and performances. Um... I don't agree with the top two. No. Do y'all agree? I think they're. I think they are playing full favorite, honey. Who would you put in the top? So, I would have put you in the top. What? Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. Wait, oh, it, wow. it's, it's it's uh who's in the top? It's Victoria, uh, and, Victoria and Rita. Victoria and, and Rita. And, okay. Yeah, I don't think Rita should have been in the top. Her yeah. acting challenge was great, but the runway, I was whoa, whoa, that runway, honey. But Jason Z said it was quintessentially club kid. Cool. And who's Jason Z again? <laughs> so I mean, it is what it Thank is. Josie. I said jo I think perfect. It is, I said right? what I said. Another Who is Jay Z again? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But this is why we fucking need Drag Race girls judging Drag Race girls, okay? Because I felt that that Rita, she should have been read for that. Yeah, you know, I, I feel... <laughs> 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 say what you're going to say. No, no, no. I, it, this, it don't matter. Uh, what I'm going to say... <laughs> it does. <laughs> what I was going to ask you, lovely ladies, is... Um, so... Obviously, you guys did more takes, right? Did you guys do, it was it like a one take type of thing? Or you took, like, it was a few takes, right? Oh, so, yeah, what, the acting challenge, right? So um, what you saw, and basically what I'm getting at, this happened with Sonique. Sonique watched it and was kind of like, really? You know what I mean? Like she kind of gagged because she's like, I did so much better. And then they used that take, you know what I mean? So watching it, do you guys... <laughs> In other words, <laughs> come on, spill it. Oh no, spill it. <laughs> if you don't spill it right now. Now you said, so Nick said, what about an after challenge? <laughs> oh, now I love my sister dearly. Uh, oh. So she sucked in the challenge, is what you're saying. No, she actually no, 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 yeah, won yeah. that challenge. She did win. Yeah, yeah, no. And, but that was, and that was to her point, right? That was, she did, she did win the acting, but that was to her point that she was like, 
that's what they used to like give me like the way like she felt like there were other takes that were much better than what they ended up showing. Was that the case with your acting challenge here? Like, were you guys like, man, I feel like I did better than that, but then that's what was shown. I think I had like one or two takes that were better than what they showed. <laughs> okay. This might be the delusion jumping out right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say that I did give a lot more than what they showed. Because, again, we had more takes. So, again, it, it's just about what they want to show, isn't it? Narrative. Exactly. Exactly. I will say that I don't really remember this challenge as much. Neither do I. <laughs> um, but I do remember, like, when we got to the judging, I remember thinking to myself, girl, I wasn't that bad. And they kept saying that I kept fumbling over lines and all of this other stuff. And it was kind of like, girl, when? Where did I do that? How? No, girl, run the tape. But I just seen it back, so maybe. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> She's seen it now. I have an additional question about the judges' critiques. Um, Brooklyn, uh, all of them, honestly, but this is, I feel like, Brooklyn's third week specifically calling out Silky regarding something about the runway. Last week it was the meet and greet. How was the photo? Oh, it was perfect. <laughs> if you're coming to drag home, we're wearing the same outfit. Yeah! <laughs> and then telling her it's arts and craftsy this week. Um, were they pretty fair or um, just in their comments of y'all throughout the season? The silence. I'm going to just say, I don't really feel that like their comments towards Silky was... They said, okay, there was a sandwich, right? Spill it up. There was a sandwich, and it was good, bad, good. And during the editing, I think they just decided to choose the bad ones because the look wasn't that bad, to be fair, because she pulled from her inspiration. Her inspiration. Just like me, if you're black and you don't get that I was giving Y2K Missy Elliott from Y2K, then you're not going to get it. Like, it's for me. And if you get it, you get it. And if you don't, you don't. And when you have the judges on that panel who don't get it, I can't say anything else other than you're never going to get it. But when I think of Y2K, first and foremost, when I think Y2K, I don't know what to think. What Bitch, do you think? I think about hiding is, in the basement. Yeah, exactly. When well, they I think said there was going to be no more power. I mean, when I think of Y2K, I'm thinking to myself like... You know, everything is about to shut down. Pandemical. Would, yeah, very very that. Like, oh my God, like, the lock-in, go to church, yeah. pray. <laughs> all of it. But when did the category go to Y2 gay? Because I never read that in the brief. Girl, there you go. I said if it was going to be Y2 gay and I read it in the brief, I would have been all the way camp. Okay. I think I the prompt the was like a, a 90s, 2000 yeah. club queen. I don't think it had anything to do with like club kid and club kid realness and da 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 da. But you know, it's all interpretive, narrative. You know, I was just gonna say sometimes I feel like they'll give you, you know, a category and then everyone goes a certain way, but then there's two or three that doesn't really go, but they really need that to fit somewhere else. So they kind of just change the wording a little bit, the verbiage, and next thing you know, it's that you're like, what the fuck? Okay. You're like, it's we got the same thing. How in the hell did she get a How praise she, and I yeah. didn't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I get yeah. that. Talk about Rita. Yeah. Because yeah, I was very much like that. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> you were. Anyway, the look well, was great. The reason I actually said that thing about the Teletubby um, is because <laughs> they had actually said that. Rita's look was giving very Teletubby and da 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 and they were praising it because it was like, ugh, it's giving me Teletubby. And then he got to me and he was like, why didn't you say that this is giving Teletubby? And it was like, well, if I would have said it, it was giving Teletubby and then I looked down there, we not giving the same thing, so I'm not going to say that I'm a Teletubby too. She was giving twonky wonky. Yeah, so you were yeah. <laughs> tonky wonky. <laughs> Instead of tinky winky. Okay, so we're about to get to the point where we have to plead for um, you know, our legacy to stay there. Um, going into this, did you feel like you had a chance, um, Vanity, or do you think Silky was going to go? Did you forget last week's episode? Silky got an alliance. <laughs> I never thought I, I didn't. I, I didn't forget that, and I, I already accepted that. my fate. However, however it turns out, I'm just gonna make sure that I plead my case because at the end of the day, I'm here to win. I'm here for myself, and 
I served a look today, okay? As, to piggyback off that, as, as two people that have been, you know, on All Stars and you, there's alliances and there's this and there's that and you gotta vote for someone. Um, how effective do you think pleading your case is? Do you really think that that queen is like listening to you and like, well, yeah. Or do you think like this bitch, no matter what I say to this hoe, she is not gonna keep me here. I really think it depends on who you're talking to. Um, because like when I was in the top and I had the opportunity to pick who was going home or who I was gonna eliminate, I didn't have anybody specifically in mind that I was gonna eliminate, but it was really, it for me, came down to how they played their case. And when it came down to Stephanie, Stephanie had really kind of checked out. She didn't want to be in the game, really. She was like, you know, there. But she was like, but if you keep me, I'll come alive, I'll be friendly, I'll do. And I'm like, well, girl, we can't wait for you to, <laughs> I join the game. Thing. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? So, I mean, for me, it depends on who you're talking to. Yeah. Um, but I think maybe in a situation like this, it's kind of like, you don't really know. Yeah. The conversation's very important. It, mm -hmm. Like, for me, again, like, that conversation with um, the two that I... Kendall and Stephanie. Sorry, yeah, I'm really yeah, bad with names. I got you. <laughs> um, that conversation was very important, and I think... It, it, it depended she on said what. I forgot the, them girls. Bitch, she full <laughs> on forgot. She just said the two. I was like, what? you were just what? No, no, I'm really bad with names. Um, the Canadian Grizz. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not all. It Canadian was literally girl. down to that conversation. So, for me, when I it, it comes to pleading a case, I literally have to like say those key words that kind of pull on your heartstrings a little bit. I mean. It's probably the second time I'm doing this with Victoria now. So she and also, for me being in the bottom, I'm like, I'm running out of words to fucking say to a bitch. What can I really say to someone to make you keep me? Please keep me where you case sisters. <laughs> what, still keep no, then me? I start throwing a bitch under the bus. That's when you start throwing a bitch under the bus. I mean, I may have. Yeah, I know y'all got an alliance, but she did also tell me earlier... <laughs> Raj is playing. And I think she said she hated your runway look, too. <laughs> and you look busted <laughs> and greasy. For real. <laughs> and then she said your mama. I live. Okay, wow. let's, see, let's see how these chats are going to go and who pleads their case oh, and how. Let's see. Let's go right back to the show, Mikey. All right, Roscoe's. Before we get into it, do not forget we're going to do a Q&A here with Vanity and Raja. So any questions you have, start thinking of those now, and we will be around shortly. But um, all right, the pleading, it happened. Um, <laughs> well, it sounds like Victoria has a hard decision to make because I personally don't think... She um, do. Rita's gonna beat her in a lip sync. <laughs> you agree. <laughs> what made you say that, Karen? I was thinking about that from the beginning. I was like, those two lip singing. Rita's Victoria's on a streak right now, and we've seen what Rita can do. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm sold on Victoria. Wow. I'm sold on Victoria. Wow, Caramel. No, 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 I get it. Sometimes I even forgot Rita was fucking there, really. Like, I really wasn't. She wasn't. She, she was never a standout to me in this season, which is disappointing because I was looking forward to, like, her being one of the standouts. Like, for me, the standouts were, you two were, were standouts. Silky was a standout. Um, and Victoria, like, that was, like, that my, that's my top four, actually. That would have been my top four. So I'm really curious to see how this is going to end up. Same, same Oh. Okay, so wait. Um, did we see the entire talk? Like, you know, with, with editing, did they take anything out? Um, did we see the full uh, discussion that you had with both of them? I think that was a full discussion I had. Yeah. To be fair, I just, I, <laughs> being there last week, I didn't have much more to say apart from keep me and we'll see what happens in the next episode again. But if you didn't see the fire, then it's all right, isn't it, sis? Girl, I'm, sti I'm telling you, I still would have threw that. Uh, still out of the bus. Girl, she caught your mama fish. <laughs> Ooh. That would have been an instant out for me. Just saying the word to Victoria would have been an instant out. Girl, I heard Silky over there in the corner talk about she was getting some fish or something. Something about some fried fish. And I know something. she wasn't talking about lunch. Girl. 
Oh, <laughs> shit. So, Vanity, this is our first time we're all watching this together, and there was a clip that was just shown that you didn't get to see. We, we just watched. And it was Rita and Silky saying that they got each other's backs. How does that make you feel right now? And did you know about it? No, she didn't. You didn't know about no. it? No. Um, do you know what? I can't really say, oh, I'm pissed about it. Because it's a competition at the end of the day and you're here for yourselves, right? Yeah. But I'm a little bit disappointed that, you know, my sister wouldn't have my back. But at the end of the day, it's a competition and I can't say shit about it because I'm in an NDA. You know? <laughs> uh, okay. But I'm pissed. For real. <laughs> Stream my new single on iTunes. Thank you very much. It's called Pissed. <laughs> Work. You know, it's crazy because, you know, we I personally walked into the workroom every single morning asking these hoes about alliances. I was like, how are y'all playing? Who's in the alliance? Who's talking what? Who doing what? And Ain't nobody said silent. nothing. Ain't nobody said nothing. Not even a blink. Not even a... They was playing the game. So wait, let me ask. Uh, was this the only alliance that was formed, or were there any other alliances? No, me formed? and Roger, we was. Uh, you, no, did y'all have an alliance? <laughs> did you have any alliances formed? No. No, uh, this is like the only one that we actually got to CC, right? Like actually witness. But there's a go thing down. We, we played it truthfully. Like if you did shit, you were going home for real. And if you know we felt like you weren't performing to your best of your abilities, it was time for you to go. And I think that's how we set it up from day one. If you didn't do so well, or the judges' critiques weren't on your fa in your favor, sorry, time for you to go. This so is one of you? the first ones that we feel has been very true and like played to the game of statistics and like you know like how you guys ranked each other instead of oh well we're just gonna be best friends and keep my you know my good girlfriends on because they're my friends. It wasn't UK versus yeah. the world. It was very much based on your talent. <laughs> it was very much based on your talent and what you brought to the competition on that day. And I feel I felt like it was very truthful, very honest. Um, people may not agree with the first episode, but I don't give a fuck. Do you think it, like you said, on that day, do you think it was more so just that day of competition, or do you think it was a uh, combination of, like, of everything? What happened. Like, like, again, for me, being in the, the, the bottom last week and, and, and also now this week as well, it plays a huge factor into am I really performing to the best of my abilities, or have I had two fumbles? I had two fumbles, and I'm allowed to have a fumble because I'm a human being at the end of the day. But at the same time, I'm like, bitch, keep me because you don't, I, I know for what you don't want to lip sync against me, because <laughs> it's over for you hoes. Now, Raja, we know if Rue calls, you'll say yes. Um, Vanity, if they were to offer you another opportunity to come yes. back. <laughs> yes, we love to hear it, man. Because the glow up is what? Real, period. And yeah, the I next time you motherfucking see me on a Drag Race episode. <laughs> what I say, what I say, you don't came up in here glued up. <laughs> up, and you know, up. up and stuck for real vanity honestly now that the, yeah. now that the global versus what is it? it it's the global it's what what is it called just global global all-stars that's what it is global all-stars which is like all-stars from all over i can totally see you being that uk girl Wait, what are y'all talking about for it's Don't act like you ain't signed up yet, bitch. What did I miss? Right. Do not. Sh this whole She's sat playing. here one month ago bitch, talking Raja about some. Raja filmed that yeah, shit I last made, I made fun of Drag Race, and she already done filmed this shit, She fucking bitch. filmed it already, bitch. Lion ass. This bitch. <laughs> Someone said Jujube. Come on, Jujube. Keep coming back. Well, I did come from the school of Jujube. Jujube <laughs> said if they call, you got to answer. Know, that's right. You call, you say yes, okay? I would never turn down an opportunity for me to come back to a uh, drag race ever. I mean, every, every, every year, <laughs> keep calling, keep calling, because okay. the money keeps getting long, <laughs> and the looks keep getting better, and, and the face actually, is always going to be beat. Period. And they actually pay outside the UK. Yeah, they do, yeah, they do. <laughs> they don't pay in badges, <laughs> or like 250. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, well, on that I'm note, let's go right back to the show. Let's go, let's see, <laughs> let's see the slip sync. Okay, before... No, seriously. What Seri was that? Like, seriously? This was so Let messy. You. Let me tell you one thing that I... Oh, girl. I can't believe... Why, why do we have to put our expensive garments on the floor? And Be not get up. Why are we on the floor? Bitch, ain't nothing up there was expensive. Don't lie. <laughs> I'm going with that. the. I'm, I'm giving Victoria but, the benefit of the doubt that that lit up and did the thing. You know what irks me when I see these lip syncs? Uh, when. Tell us. 
You know when when they Where is the talent. No, wait, hold on. Seriously, wait. They that's sucked it all. The mosquitoes sucked wait, it all literally out. Literally is what I'm getting at because they're doing like, for example, Miss Scone here. What she's doing is shit that she sees other girls do and do it six, and then she thinks, oh, this one move they love when they do this thing. No, girl. Like seriously, that's not it. Lip sync to the song, make it your own, perform it how you would perform it. Don't be doing the dips and the splits because you see the other girls do it and you think that that's gonna make people fall out. And learn the words. They showed. Yeah, both learn of them. your fucking words. And that was words. just one thing. Like, I mean, this is the lip sync for your life. I would have rather watched you two girls do this because I know y'all would have fucking slid this down. We literally just cue the track. Put that okay. track out right now. I mean. Like, literally, I know y'all would have fucked that shit I said up. they missed out on that motherfucking opportunity. They really did. <laughs> I mean, that was, that so was a true. waste of a lip sync song, bitch. A good one. And a that good song one. is everything. Funny, a good one. A yeah. good you one. You know that song is everything. As soon as we got that MP3 plan, I said, mm-hmm, me and Raja, let's do this. Okay. All right, so, so we happened. agree. No one really won. If anybody <laughs> did win, what are we thinking? I mean... I Who? mean, I'm thinking. I'm gonna give it to I, Rita for staying up. Well, let, my... let's see what our guests think. Well, you guys obviously you know, but what what do you think? Personal opinion? Who? I don't really remember <laughs> who won this. So, like, this episode for me is an absolute blur. So I'm watching it back to get like my life, I guess. Um, I don't know. I would give it to Rita just because she pulled out a little bit more than I think Victoria actually gave. Because once Victoria hit the floor, she was there. It was there. She never got up. Vanity, was, was it as chaotic for you behind as it was for us watching it in oh, front? 100% definitely. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> on this motherfucking day, in the words of Alyssa Edwards. What the fuck is going on in this motherfucking day? Um, I was thinking to myself, is this the lip sync or is this... Is this a practice? <laughs> Ooh, is, th is this the first one we do when we just test in the track? Yeah, 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 yeah. Making sure the audio works or something. <laughs> and wow. this is coming from the Lip Sync Assassin. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't come play with me. Um, but no, I was, I, I was living for Rita. I'll tell you why. It's because if you remember the first episode, she was giving me grandma. Now she's giving me sex doll. And I was like, okay, I'm here for that. You got the Ariana Grande pony Sex doll. A little bit, a little bit of episode. Just a little, a little oh, bit. I mean, she Ooh, gave girl. mature. I mean, she, if you remember her from the first episode, she's given a little bit of a sex doll. She gave a little mature woman, like, given, you know. Yeah. Okay, she's still giving grandma, but she gave. Auntie. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She's she not giving okay. grandma. She, she gave auntie. a little bit more than my sister Victoria. <laughs> because, again, she was just on the floor. You know what All I mean? Right. Well, let's get these results and see who makes it to next week. Roscoe's. Please keep it going for the icon, Vanity Milan. Vanity. 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 Yeah. And that's on what? Period. Period. Do you know what? I haven't said that in a long time. Dirty rice. <laughs> you know, Vanity, I, I messaged you a long time ago. You did. And I was like, I really hope you get the opportunity to come here. And I'm just, I'm really thrilled that you're here. And I hope you have so much fun in your stay here in Chicago. And I they're have. going to let you have it tonight. So, you better. Um, yes. We can't wait to see you perform. And it's been... An honor just being a black queen, seeing another gal get their life on TV. So thank you for making things thank possible so for just, just people of color. We thank you so much. And that's all I do it for, to be honest with you. I do it for the people of color, especially within the UK, where we don't see black, positive, queer people on our television screens. Colorism is real, and I'm trying to break that barrier within the UK. And uh, Chicago has treated me really well, and I, I need another drink. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can we get a round of shots? Let's do it. We could do we we could do a little round. Do you guys want a little round of shots? Sure. Yeah, we will we'll yeah. toast our lovely uh vanity. Absolutely. Uh yeah, let's get a little get a round. Uh but we're gonna do Q and A. But before before we do Q and A, um it, is there anything that you want? I mean, besides you know, the message you just said right now that you want dollars. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> maybe another season if you invite me back, I'll come back. Okay. 
I mean, we would love to have you back, right? Yes. Now, um, I always In show the off the, the Roscoe's crowd, and uh, I always show off the, the Roscoe's crowd, and I tell all the girls, this is the best crowd that you're going to get. It's all downhill from here, bitch. Uh, because <laughs> Roscoe's has the best energy anywhere in the states and you are going to absolutely love them they're going to eat you all up it's going to be a lovely lovely this is true roscoe's is great energy and i'm still waiting for somebody to eat me up (laughs) oh well you have to stay in town longer you have to stay in town longer than three hours after the gig mary she's willing (laughs) she did say she's willing to change her flight from tomorrow Um, if anyone wants to invite her over she does have to check out at noon so uh, <laughs> she's just looking for somebody to eat that booty. So like uh, she could stay at y'all's place. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's do a Q and A. So if anyone has any questions for our two lovely, lovely Hands guests, up. please raise your hand. Tell us where you're from and your name and we'll, question. We'll start right here. What is your name and who's your question for? Uh, I'm Juan, and my question is for everybody. A bit of a serious question. With all this shit going on, like politicians and and groups against drag queens, as people that travel around the world to do a show and people that host in one of the most recognizable venues for drag queens, do you feel safe right now? I feel safe because this is Roscoe's. Roscoe's is a safe space. Um, It's been that way. But I do feel that right now in the time and the climate that we're living in, we have to put focus where the focus needs to be because what they're doing is trying to make anti-trans legislation and using drag queens as the way to block trans women and men from living their lives authentically. So what we have to do as a gay community, we have to show up to the poll, we actually have to vote, we have to use our voice and have to stop just coming to the bars. To be political, we have to go to the uh, poll and be political and make our voices heard. Um, But I feel safe. And I know that I'm not bringing any harm to anybody else in here with my presence and with my acts. So. I couldn't put it any better. I couldn't put it any better. So you, you, you said it all. I feel safe, but also I, I, I would love everyone else in a space that we come to to feel safe in as well. So the more we do as a community, the better our community will be. Do you know what I mean? Keep speaking for the people in our community and keep doing good. For sure. To touch base on what you you guys said uh, and your question and when it comes to safety, uh, like she said, Roscoe's is a safe space and I do feel safe here. Do I feel like my profession is under attack? Absolutely. It is under attack right now. But like she said, it is a distraction. It is to take away from things that actually really do matter, like gun control. No one's talking about gun control, but everyone's talking about how dangerous a drag queen is at story time. But no one's talking about the... In, in Catholicism, where we have children that have been molested and abused by the church, but we're not talking about that. So yes, do I feel safe in this space? Yes. Does my profession feel attacked? Yes. Our us as people, yes, we are under attack, and it's up to not just us, but anyone here who is heteronorm and, and plays that role in the ally role. It's also up to you to go vote and show your voice as well because we can't just do it alone because when it comes down to women's rights guess who's there voting with y'all we are we're the ally we do that so when we do it we expect you to do it too um to piggyback off the you know safety but and i just want to echo off of that as well if you see something say something Absolutely. it is not going to hurt anything to make sure that you and the people around you are protected and they're safe so if you're ever in a space or you ever do not feel safe, say something to someone so that way you can be heard. Because sitting in silence sometimes, you know, unfortunately, you just, you see it. If you see it, say it. Okay? Yeah. Yay? Yay. And okay. uh, before we, uh, I'm sorry, I, we forgot to do this right afterwards. I uh, want to say on camera really quick to the front bar. Thank you guys uh, for joining us at the front. We're going to go ahead and Good play luck. some music up in the front. We're going to stick to Q&A back here. So if you want to do some Q&A with our lovely guests. Come on back and join us back here. But goodbye to everyone in the front. Bye, Roscoe's. And okay, scene. We'll go back. To right the back. back, to the back. Thank all you, right, Juan. Thank Great you. question. And yeah, well put, Raja. Thank you, Diva. Well, we all have our shots. So everyone raise um, your glass. Are we drinking tonight, and Roscoe's? All of you two in the house. Yes. Woo-hoo! Cheers to the freaking weekend. So who's going to do the toast? I will. Here we go. Raise Perfect. your drinks, raise your glasses and your waters. 
Um, cheers to you, cheers to me, friends forever we shall be. And if any moment we disagree, fuck you and cheers to me. Ooh, I love this drink. All right, do we have any more questions? I do, oh. Brian. Remember Brian from the beginning? He was like our number one cheer. Yes, yes, the one that said yes. 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 So, Brian, where are you from? I am from Austin. Look at Texas. the way he grabs that microphone. Oh, he's experienced. Yeah, now, oh, yeah. very experienced with. Oh, you do a Q and A. <laughs> Hi, Raja. Hello. My question for you is: being a D Town Boogie girl. Right. What do you want to see different in Texas in the what, future? What do I want to see different in yeah. Texas? Yeah. Being from Dallas, Austin, the vibes are I just different. want to see more opportunities for girls in Texas. I want to see them branching outside of their box because Dallas and Texas is known for its pageantry scene and those Jeez. girls producing like top-notch talent. But what we don't get to see, especially like on Drag Race, we don't get to see a lot of girls from Texas. It's only been me, Akira, and Kennedy. So, Lisa. oh, and Alyssa. Shangela. And Shangela, so we got some excellent and representation. And then this I guess. Bitch, I live that your list just got longer. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> You're like, wait a minute, bitch. I'm like, damn, never mind. Forget what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. Damn. No, but I just want to see more people like putting their their bid in to actually be on or to be recognized internationally. Love That's what I want for that. my hometown. Great question. Okay, Thank we you. have a question over here. Name and where are you from? Uh, Joelle, I'm from Chicago. Hey, Joelle. I have a question for both of you. What are some things we can look forward to seeing in 2023? Like, what projects do you guys have coming down the pipeline? That you can talk about. <laughs> Well, if you have a television, you can stay tuned. She will be back on TV. Yes. Um, doing some things. I think I've got a lot more touring to do. I'm, I'm an international queen diva yes, now. An yes, an icon. An icon, a legend. Okay. And I'm traveling the world. Um, I think we should do an SRV tour. Took the words right out of our mouth. What do y'all think? Oh, he said, I don't like Silky. Uh, no, Never SRV. <laughs> <laughs> Who don't like Silky? No, we love her. Uh, DragCon's coming up if you, if you want to try Drag to the UK. DragCon, if you're in the UK. Um, DragCon LA. More music coming from me, yes. I like to bring some music. You might get some music from me, too. Ooh. What? Uh, okay. right, I have a, a question for you lovely ladies over here. Hi, my name's Josh from Chicago. My question is, does Brooklyn keep her outfit on during judging? All of it. Pants yes. and everything. Yes. Yes. Corset too? Corset. Yes. Corset too. And shoes. But say, say it into the camera. But say it into she the camera. puts on a nice, cute house slipper, okay? <laughs> but it <laughs> matches the outfit. It matches the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was the one thing that like really caught me off guard, like especially like the first episode. We saw Brooklyn, and she stood up from behind the judge's table. Tiny and waist. I was like, oh, bitch, let me see this outfit. Hold on. Because, you know, we don't see the judges standing up. We never see them standing up, so we only see them from here up. But when she stood up and walked down and got some paper from somewhere, I said, oh, bitch, she looks sickening. That waistline was tiny. tiny. That was the rhinestone top with the black bottom. Mm -hmm. oh. She was given. Be our guest, be our guest. <laughs> no, not Lumiere. <Yes. laughs> All right, Divas, we have a question straight back here. Uh, hi there, my name is Andre. Uh, hey, Andre. Hi. Apologies, I'm a little shy. You two are icons for me. Um, icon. Icon. Absolutely. Um, excuse me. We discussed mental health earlier. Uh, drag queen and mental health. Uh, where do you draw the boundary as having to be a performer and be there for everybody else entertaining and sometimes you might not be feeling it? Where do you put the boundary between the performer and the person behind the performer? I think I draw the line where I don't feel my most comfortable, where I don't feel my most positive, where I don't feel like I can uplift somebody else. I feel like there is a line in my personal life where my husband can see that there is nothing behind my eyes and he's like, it's time to take a break. And I think having some one people around you to make sure that you are okay on a daily basis is very important and I have that and I love you. Um, 
but I, I just want to make sure that, like, again, mental health is very important. So that's where I draw the line when I just don't feel like I can give the same where I usually give. Do you know what I mean? Period. All right. We have a uh, for me, I haven't really reached a point where I'm not able to entertain because of something that's going on in my personal life because I find escape on stage. So for me, performing is therapy. Um, and as an artist, I take what I do very seriously. Um, and I love what I do, and I'm so blessed to be able to do it around the world and share it with you guys, and hopefully it makes you feel something a little bit, you know, gives you guys a little bit of joy. But in my daily life, I have to continue to remind myself that it's okay to have these feelings that I'm having, but we can move around from these feelings. Don't stay in those feelings too long. I don't like to dwell on it. Like I said on All Star 6, feel your, feeling, feel your feelings, have your moment, and then throw it away. Because that's what works for me. It doesn't work for everybody. Uh, and it's harder to shake some emotions more than others. But having a great friend group that's going to check on you. And then also, when you are feeling vulnerable enough to open up to your friends, I want to tell your friends, you don't always have to respond. Just be a listening Just ear. Listen. Because a lot of times when we tell people how we're feeling, then they start to piggyback. And girl, I was feeling that way yesterday. And da -da 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 -da. Don't tell me how you was feeling because that's not helping me none. So just, you know, listen, sis. <laughs> so be a listening totally ear to it. friends and all of that. All right, we have another question right back here. Howdy. Uh, so my question is for both of you as two queens that now I've got to share a workroom with so many other international queens. And I, I suppose with, you know, performing abroad and stuff. What is something you've noticed about your country's drag that you've noticed that's like, oh, this is surprisingly uniquely American or uniquely British or something along those lines? British drag is totally bastard. It, I, we, have, we have this thing called bastard drag in the UK where it's just like, it's not busted, it's bastard drag. And it's just literally just like, we give everything and the kitchen sink and it's just completely in utter trash but it's trash that's really great and that we as UK people understand because it's the humor that we give, the comedy that we give. I feel like I'm an American queen to be fair because I'm very much <laughs> entertaining. Entertaining. I lip think. That's an American thing, being entertaining and on the show. I was Stop. very entertaining. <laughs> I gave Bitch. you one good lipstick. <laughs> the UK promoters, I'm like, Okay, we're taking her out of this. Yes. <laughs> They're like, the rest of her tour is canceled. Yeah, canceled. She goes oh, to Mexico and, 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 and that's it. They well, can the, fucking the, stay the in America. The queens they got on their roster, they would never cancel me, sweetheart. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, Work, yeah. I UK drag it. is very much just tongue-in-cheek, very much campery. It's, if you see Victoria Scone, that's very much UK drag. Bastard. And it's always a thought behind everything that we do. Yeah. Bastard. Bastard. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, do we have any more questions? Anybody else? Anybody else going once? Going, going twice. twice? Oh, here we go. Okay. I love that you just last minute. You're like, just yeah, fuck it. I'm going to ask that question. almost three. What is your name and where are you from? Hey, my name's Sandro. I'm from Chicago. Grew up in San Antonio, Texas. Hey. Um, so I'm a teacher, and my question for you both is, you know, what are some things that you wish your teachers growing up would say or do for you? That's, that's a really good question. I had some really great educators growing up. Um, and what they always encouraged me to do, because I was very artistic as a child. I was always into like painting and drawing and dancing and acting a fool. You know. <laughs> so they encouraged me to keep my enthusiasm, but also to um, like, they encouraged me to pursue my art. So I think that's why I ended up going down this route is because they encouraged me to imagine and play and be creative. So I think as teachers, you have to talk to your students as individuals as opposed to like a classroom because that's the thing that makes it special because you find that one teacher that 
you know has your back, you can always go to that teacher when you can't talk to anybody else in the school, can't talk to people at home. So if you are that teacher, continue to be that teacher. Do you have an answer, Vanity? Algebra is not important. <laughs> That's fierce. That's fierce. Okay, but math is very but important. Math is, math Especially is so when you're making that point. <laughs> no, uh, just to answer your question, um, uh, to embrace differences and in individuality. One thing that in school is um, everyone's about being cool, having the same thing. If you have this, you're cool. Um, and I wish that it was you look this way and that is amazing you act this way and only you act this way and that makes you amazing um, because literally I don't know if you guys but for me in school it was like you just always wanted to fit in like you you know especially through grammar school like I was one of those that I'm like I just I stood out already I was that femme kid that was, I was already always you know what a I mean? trouble nation Girl. oh bitch I, know I, that was, that. I was the front that of the class that is hard to believe baby. I was, I know I was that. very much dress code violation oh I Oh, we didn't have all that. You know, I was oh, cutting no. up the jeans all the way up with the little slits that was back in the day. That was, yeah. the, that, was that 2000 Y2K drag. You know, I was <laughs> the the wide leg pants that was split up the up the legs just dress code violation. But keep inspiring your students because I have a teacher that, excuse me, I still speak to after 20 years of her educating me. And she lives here in the city of Chicago. We meet up every once in a while and get coffee and just, so, you know, she really stamped me and told me when I was a freshman, you will be great at whatever you do. Just be whatever you want to be. So, yeah, continue to do that. Oh, yeah. Love that. Thank you. And then we have one final question from you two before we wrap this up. It's from Love Elik, both for Vanity and Raja. Do you have any regrets or is there anything you would have done differently this season? I have no regrets. Um, I definitely came into this season guns blazing and runways blazing. I think I had the best glow up from my season ever. And I could never, <laughs> never take that away from what I. <laughs> uh, bitch, let me just tell you something. You gotta give yourself your flowers, bitch. Because <laughs> if I don't give my flowers, who else won't give me my flowers? Okay. For real. Do I you mean, like Silky did. <laughs> I can't give it up for myself. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just, I just think I wouldn't do anything different because uh, your journey is your journey. You speak things to existence. And I didn't come here to win. I came here to prove to this drag race fandom that Vanity Milan is not the one to play with when it comes okay. to these looks, this face, and also this base, period. <laughs> Raja, how about for you, Diva? Um, what was the question? Any regrets or anything <laughs> you would have done differently this season? No regrets. No regrets. I've actually had a blast this season. Um, yeah, no regrets. And I did come to win. So, fingers crossed. Yeah, well, things go. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep those fingers crossed. Okay. Keep those fingers crossed. You know, I had my glow up last season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For All Star Wait, Six. So me. now I'm trying to glow up into a crown. I'm trying to crown up. I ain't trying to glow you know, up. I'm trying I to crown to, up. I meant to ask you the, the purple. Did that come from the show or before you were even on the show? Were you already just infatuated with the color and just the color purple came to me after we filmed. Um, season 11 uh, because of the jacarandi trees uh -huh. they have purple trees in yeah. LA yeah. and I was so inspired by the trees growing purple leaves I was like oh baby that's yeah. me yeah. that's me because I'm obsessed with trees yeah. and that was the first time I had ever saw one of those so I was like <gasps> purple <laughs> okay we have one uh, last question um, this, this question is, uh, is from this gentleman right here um, and he asked there's been a few controversial uh, contestants, um, s winners even, um, on Drag Race. <laughs> like who? Um, like, redacted, why, why redacted. Are you running, bitch? Yeah. Why are you running? Um, for example, you have like Tyra Sanchez, Sherry Needles, oh, like, okay. so, you know what I mean? Like that kind of controversy. Like, do you think um, well, they I'm should be given... <laughs> Do you think they should be given the opportunity to come back and compete again? Or do you think they have kind of just burned those bridges? Well, those are winners. So if they have an all-winner season, they can definitely come back. Do that. Compete. Yeah. Um, 
I don't think anything that they've done, I don't really know the backstory and all of the inside yeah. insider tea of the controversy that they are wrapped up in. But, you know, when you make a mistake, it doesn't hurt to say I'm sorry and be actually accountable and hold yourself to that standard. So if there is something that they've done in their past that they need to correct, correct those things, do what you got to do and come on back. But, you know. Yeah, I, I, I think cancel culture is one of the worst things ever. I think it doesn't give an opportunity to people to learn and grow. Uh, you cancel someone, they just get bitter and upset, and they probably do even worse than what they did to begin with. So I really think that they, people should be given the opportunity to learn from their mistakes, grow from their mistakes, and an opportunity to not do it again. But also, when people show you who they are, believe, believe them. them. Believe them. Oh, absolutely. Because, yeah. okay. so, oh, you know, ab the apologies be very performative. It'd be very much, you know, I had no idea. Yeah, girl, uh -huh. you knew exactly what uh -huh. you was no, doing. No, exactly. Uh -huh. Agree. Now, uh, give it up for our guests, Ms. Vanity and Raja. So next week is the finale to this Canada versus the World gig. And next week, it'll be uh, just family in the house. It'll the be girls. us three. Yes. And we will have Dita Ritz in the house. Dita Ritz, yes. our Chicago yes. cheesecake. Uh, local. So we'll go ahead and do the finale next week. Uh, there will be no cover, and it'll be open seating. Oh. Um, so don't worry about getting tickets or anything. Just show up. We want to see you yeah. and celebrate, hopefully, my sister Raja's win. Oh, yeah. 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 If, 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 if Raja wins, we will FaceTime her, and she will pick up the phone, yeah. and we will get a you FaceTime better. her here we at Roscoe. Be, so be here to witness We will be that. in Montreal oh, Yeah, they're filming the week. finale there. What? Are, are you guys getting like a big grand? Yeah, because she's going to Mexico tomorrow, and then she's only there for four days because they have to be back to Montreal. Wow. We are the yeah. cast of RuPaul's, I mean, not RuPaul, Canada Canada's Drag Race, yeah. Canada versus the World. We will be in, Cam I mean, in Montreal celebrating as a cast, minus Isis, because she's going to be with family. Um, but we're all going to be there partying. We're going to do a view party as well as like. A performance too so if you guys i don't know if anybody's from montreal but we'll be in montreal next week. okay <laughs> we'll be there i'm gonna facetime your ass we'll be there oh we'll look be at there. sean we'll like uh -oh. it's, actually sold, we, uh -uh. it's actually sold out there's no more tickets <laughs> oh it's sold out 1300 people yeah. well, there you right. go okay she knows she got the numbers bitch there Period. you go. always have the numbers because i know how much i'm getting paid for that check <laughs> okay. that and again don't forget to join us we will be performing at about 11.30. So stick around. We have lots of drag coming up. Get yourself a cocktail and all that good stuff. Please make some noise one more time for our guests, Raja and Vanity. Yes, yes, yes. Once again, we'll be back at 10.30. My name is Caramel 11 30. DeVille. 11.30. 11.30. Ooh, hour back. <laughs> My name is Batty <laughs> Davis. And my name is Nisha Lopez. Thank you guys so much for tuning in on YouTube. Thank you guys for being here. Again, if you haven't pushed subscribe, push subscribe. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Chicago, thank you so much for having me. It was so beautiful, but it was really cold okay. and snowy. Okay, Chicago. Go